Hello everyone, how are you and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share a tutorial on how to crochet out this beautiful case for crochet hooks. This case is made of unique stickers with a symbol of pearl, but it's not a pearl stickers. Have a look. There is no joint stickers. It has a topper, and a tin hooker, and completed with a button. I specially designed this case holder to keep some of my crochet hooks so I can carry them everywhere I go. Well everyone, this is how we use it. Okay now let me show you how to make this pattern. Be ready and let's get started. The materials you need to have for making this ones are yarns, you can use any type of yarns, a crochet hook, I use 2.20mm, a button, a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. First thing you need to do is to make a slip knot like this. Then make eight chains. This pattern is the multiple of two. You can make it larger by adding the multiple of two. These are eight basic chains plus one turning chain. Then make one single crochet in each of the stitches. There are eight single crochet. This is the base. The first row of single crochet is ready. I made three rows that consist of four side stitches. I will put the stitch marker on the last single crochet to mark the beginning point. Then I'll make one single crochet of side stitches. And this is the first eight stitch. Make two single crochet in this stitch. Then make one single crochet each of next stitches. Don't forget to hide this yarn tail. One single crochet. When you arrive at the next side stitches, don't forget to make two single crochet in it. I'm approaching the second side stitches. This is the second side stitches, so I'll make two single crochet in it. One. Two, then make one single crochet in each of next stitches. One single crochet, one single crochet. This one is the third side stitches, so make two single crochet in it. You need to keep hiding this yarn tail or cut it. One. and two back to one single crochet in each of max stitches on the you have the stitch marker Then remove this stitch marker and make two single crochet in the stitch. After that, put the stitch marker back on the top of the last single crochet like this. Then make one single crochet in each of the stitches. There is no ending point in this part. You just need to make it spirally and make it as much as two rows. Two rows of spiral single crochet are almost ready. The last single crochet is matte. And the stitches where I put a stitch marker, 
this is the position of the last single crochet so I make the last single crochet here and finally it's ready um, this is what it looks like it's so neat and so tight have a look at this part the end of the second row of spiral single crochet so in it with a slip stitch then make the main pattern so we chain one this main pattern is made of single crochet on the first stitch and the combination of single and half double crochet in the next one stitch the single crochet is made on the upper stitch then the combination of single and half double crochet is made in the lower stitch like this then complete the stitch back to the single crochet the single crochet is made in an upper stitch then make the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch then complete the stitch back to one single crochet in the next upper stitch then combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch repeat again one single crochet in the next upper stitch the combination of a single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch this is the next lower stitch repeat again one single crochet in the next upper stitch then the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch back to single crochet then the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch these are what the stitches look like you just need to repeat these stitches over and over again until the end of this row and this is the last combinations of single and half double crochet that I made in the last lower stitch then complete this stitch first after that you need to make a slip stitch at the top of the second stitches which is on the top of all the combinations of single and half double crochet which is here it is how to hide the joining stitch perfectly you see so the joining stitch become invisible then to continue make chain one and make one single crochet on the top of the combination stitches then make the combination stitches on the lower stitch the combination of single and half double crochet then single crochet on the top of the previous combination stitches then make the combination stitches in the next lower stitch then back to single crochet the combinations of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch or between uh, two combination stitches then single crochet combination stitch single crochet again repeat these two different stitches alternately until the end of this row This is the last single crochet. This last single crochet is made on the top of the combination stitches. And this one is the last combination stitches. This last combination stitches is made on the very first stitches that we skipped at the beginning of the first row. This one. So we need to fill this stitch with the combination stitches. then skip the first stitch of the second row and make a slip stitch in the next stitch this means that this slip stitch is made on the second stitch of the second row to make the third row firstly make chain one then make one single crochet on the top of the combination stitch then make the combinations of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch then 
What you're gonna do is to repeat the single and the combination of single and half double crochet alternately until the end of this row. Then you need to repeat this row over and over again until you get the high you desire. This is the last row of this case and this one is the last combination stitch of this row. Let me complete this last stitch first. It's finally complete, then make a slip stitch on top of the very first combination stitch of this last row. And this is what this case looks like. Have a look, the joining stitch is invisible and it looks so, so perfect. Now it's time to make the topper of this case. Uh, to make this, firstly you need to put a stitch marker on the right side of this uh, case. Let me show you. This is the position where you need to put a stitch marker. After that, make chain 1. This is the turning chain, then turn the work. Make one single crochet on the top of the combination stitch. Then make combination of single and half double crochet on the top of the combination stitch or in the next lower stitch. Then back to one single crochet on the top of the combination stitch. Then make the combination stitch in the next lower stitch or between two combination stitch back to single crochet on the top of the combination stitch then make a combination stitch in the next lower stitch back to single crochet then the combination of single and a half double crochet in the next lower stitch this is the last combination stitch for this row then make one last single crochet for this row the first row the topper is complete then make chain one and turn the work Make one single crochet on the top of the combination stitch. Then make the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch. Back to single crochet. Then the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch. Single crochet. The combination of single and half double crochet back to single crochet the combination of single and half double crochet this is the last stitch for this second row to make the third row firstly chain one and turn the work Make the combinations of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch. You don't need to make single crochet at the beginning of this third row. Then single crochet back to the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch. Single crochet on the top of the previous combination stitch. Then the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch. Single crochet again. Then make the last combinations of single and half double crochet for the third row. To make the fourth one, make chain one or the turning chain. Then 
make the combination of second half double crochet on the top of the previous combination stitches then single crochet in the next one stitch the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch or in the top of the previous combination stitch back to single crochet in the next one stitch then the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch Finally, one single crochet in the last stitch for the fourth row. Okay, the fourth row are ready. Now the fifth one, don't forget to make the turning chain. Then make one single crochet on the top of the combination stitch. Then the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch. Back to single crochet. Then the combination of single and half double crochet in the next lower stitch one single crochet this is the last single crochet of this fifth row chain one then turn the work make two single crochet this is the first single crochet and this one is the second single crochet then make chain hooker this chain hooker is made of 18 chain make a slip stitch in the second chain this is the back loop slip stitch then make another slip stitch in the last chain or in the first chain sorry done then make a normal single crochet in the next stitch make one single crochet in each of next two stitches make two single crochet in this third stitch from the hooker this is what it looks like then make one single crochet in each of the next stitches make two single crochet in this third stitch from the chains hooker then make one single crochet in each of next three stitches one two three then make one single crochet in the beginning of the chains hooker then make one single crochet in each of the chain stitch this one is the back loop single crochet make one single crochet in one loop make one single crochet in each of this chain stitch to make a hooker Keep making one single crochet in each of the next stitches until you arrive at the right side of this topper. This is the right side of this topper. Make one single crochet. Make another single crochet. Then slip stitch. Don't forget to fasten the yarn. You don't need to make any single crochet in each of the next 5 stitches before the chain hooker. Just give it this way. Don't forget to hide the yarn tails and cut it. 
Finally, sew on the button. This beautiful case holder for crochet hook is ready. It's so beautiful, of course, and I hope you like it. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video, and see you again on the next video. Have a good day, happy crochet, and assalamualaikum.